Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> today, I decided to, okay, let me back up a bit. I watched, let me see, Amy Elizabeth and Andre's uh, video, video on dupes and, you know, dupes of luxury goods. And, you know, this has always been you know, a little controversy, I feel, out in the YouTube community because, to be honest with you, people out out here, you know, really probably don't care, um, but about buying dupes as opposed to getting the luxury item. And my take on it is this. I have absolutely zero problems with dupes, okay? I have several dupes here. Um, I have another pair of dupes that I will be potentially purchasing and I don't have any problem with buying dupes. You know, I feel that, you know, why should only the people that can afford it look good and stylish? You know what I mean? Uh, what about the girl that, you know, maybe works at McDonald's or is a waitress and, you know, probably doesn't make that much money, you know, to be buying, you know, thousand dollar handbags or thousand dollars for a pair of shoes or anything like that. They want to look good and stylish too, you know? So, um, if that means that they have to buy a dupe, then why not? And a lot of people are like, well, you know, you should always, you know, maybe you can just save up and buy the, you know, the, the, the luxury one. Well, you know, not everybody can really afford to do that. You have an array of different people. You have people who just can't afford to. You have people that maybe they can afford to save up, but, um, you know, they have kids. Maybe they're putting their kids through college, through school, and, you know, they just can't save up you know, money to buy these luxury goods. And then you have those people who can afford to, but just don't want to, you know? And I kind of fall into that category. I cannot afford to just go out and buy, you know, all these luxury handbags. No, I can't. But so I can't afford to save up. But sometimes I just don't want to spend the money, you know? Um, so, but I still want to look stylish too. So that's my take on it. You know, um, to each is to own. And if somebody wants to buy some dupes, hey, go ahead and rock your dupes, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the dupes that I have. And i um, going to start off here. Well, actually, I'm going to start off with, because you guys know that I have uh, dupes for my uh, Valentino Rock Studs. And I have not one, not two, but I have three dupes for Valentino Rock Studs, okay? I got the black ones first, then the red ones, and then these glitter ones right here. Now, uh, the reason why is because I had seen these on someone's YouTube channel a long time ago. And, you know, the price tag on these puppies are, I think like $995 a grand, okay, by the time you add on tax. Um, I wasn't paying that, okay, because I didn't feel that I would be getting my cost per wear out of them. So I chose to get, I got all three of these from um, um, DSW. That was the name of the, the store. But these are by BC, BCBG Generation, okay? Now, so I have all three pair. I had these three pairs before, you know, now I do have a pair of actual Valentino Rock Studs. The kitten heel, though, not these high ones, because they when I got them at a fantastic price. That's the only reason why I have them. Otherwise, I still would just have these dupes right here. I get tons of compliments on these babies, and, you know, I still wear them, I rock them, and I love them, okay? So for me, I just didn't want to spend that much money on a pair of shoes that I didn't think I was going to be wearing that often. And even though I have the real ones, I don't wear those shoes that often, okay? So these are the first dupe items right here that I think I purchased. And then um, I'm not going to go in any particular order now, but I have not one, not two, but let me see, three pair of tribal 
dupe earrings, okay? Now, there's a YouTuber, she uh, did a comparison because she has some dupes and then she has the real ones. I don't have the real Dior tribal earrings. Um, will I ever get them? Maybe. Will I pay full price for them? No, because I just think that they're too expensive for what they are and they're just costume jewelry. Um, so I will rock these dupe earrings, honey, until, you know, until I can't rock them anymore. But I got these from Christy J. Um, she was selling them in her online boutique. And so I have, these are the mocha color. These are the regular pearl ones. And these ones are like a, um, a gray color. And I rock them and I love them. And like I said, you know, will I ever get a pair of the real ones? I might, they probably would be pre-loved if I can, you know, get them at a price that I, you know, <clears throat> that I like and they're in good condition. I might get just one pair just to have them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. For me, it is nice to have, you know, the real ones, if you wanna say, or the luxury ones. Um, it is nice to have them. I'm glad that I have my Valentino rock studs. I do like having, you know, the real Valentino ones. Okay, so what else do I have do? Okay, well, this right here isn't a dupe. This is a um, what do you call it? a replica? Okay, and it's this Chanel brooch right here, which is gorgeous. And I had, you know, I had wanted a Chanel brooch, and I, I didn't know if I wanted to spend that much money because you know they're expensive. Okay, and again, it's costume jewelry. So I got this one right here, and this one is absolutely beautiful. I still wear it but it did not quench that craving that I had um, for the real Chanel brooches, okay? So I went ahead and I bit the bullet and I purchased two, um, the classic CC ones that have the little, I don't know what you call them, um, little sparkly things in them. And then I also got that fun one, which is the peace sign one. And I've showed those before, but you know, um, but I got, I had this one here first. And like I said, I still wear this one and I love it. So that's another, um, well, this is a, um, like I said, a replica. And then I just recently acquired this one right here and it's okay but it's this YSL one right here. Probably put, look better if I hold it like this. And I got this off of eBay. I think I got, I can't remember where I got this one from. I can't remember if it was off of eBay or someone on Instagram. But anyway, this one right here, I got off of eBay. And you know, it's okay. It's a nice size, you know, a nice size one. And um, the one that I really want, I'll probably put a picture of it up here but um again i think that one's like 475 dollars and again i just don't i just don't know if i want to spend you know that much money on on a brooch you know that's all it is it's just something decorative you know to to put on your clothing to kind of you know spruce it up a bit and does it really matter you know really truth be told does it really really matter you know and um so that is another, this is a replica. And because I only paid like $17 for it, so I know it ain't the real thing. And then the other um, dupes that I have, are these sunglasses, actually I have two and they're the same ones, but I purchased these ones right here first. And these are the dupes for, um, I think they're by, uh, the, by Celine. I think Celine makes a pair of sunglasses that are like these right here. But I got these ones off of eBay and I think I spent about $12 on them. And, um, you know, so I had these ones. Then Henry Bendo came out with these ones right here, which you can see they're, I mean, they're the same. They're the same, same glasses, same sunnies. Henry Bendo's though, they just have this silver, uh, stripe, I mean, so this gold uh, stripe across it that says Henry Bendel on it. But actually, 
I still wear both of them, okay? These ones right here, these $12 cheapy ones, I take with me um, to places like if I'm going to Glen Ivy or if I'm going to the beach or if I'm going someplace and just in case I lose them or, you know, or someone I put, I take them off and someone takes them, I really don't care. These ones right here, I paid a little bit more for it. Even though they're heavy bendo, I'll care if somebody take these, okay? So these ones, I still rock both of them, but yes. And as you can see, Henry Bendel, these are dupes, okay, um, of the Celine ones. So, you know, um, there's just all of these fashion houses. They're all copying each other, you know? So, you know, it is what it is, you know? I, it's about you know, supply and demand. And if these other fashion houses see that, you know, it's a hot item, you know, and, and, and people are, are buying them, hey, they're going to jump on the bandwagon, okay? Because it's all about the dollar, dollar bill, y'all. That's what it's about. So the other dupes that I have, or they're not dupes, I guess you call them replicas because, well, no, I guess they're dupes because they don't ha actually have the word Fendi on them. These are my two monster bag charms. And I saw Amy Elizabeth. She was the one that first showed these. And uh, I contacted, I got them from a person on Etsy. And so I purchased these two right here. Because I'm going to tell you, the, you know, the real ones, the Fendi ones, I think these puppies are going for like six or $700. That's ridiculous. Okay, there is no way in mm, I would ever pay that much money for some daggone bag chomps. Now, for those of you who did, you do you, okay? Hey, that's your money. You spend it how you want to, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, no, I am not spending that much money on some bag chomps that's just going to sit on my bag. And that's it. That that's all they're gonna do. That just for decoration. That that's it. They don't do anything. You know, they're just for show. So um, I can't remember how much I paid for these, but trust me, it was no six or seven hundred dollars. Okay. And I mean, they're cute. You know, they're they're cute. You know, cute little piece, and they serve their purpose just like the Fendi ones do. Okay. So these are my other dupes. And what else? What else? What else? Oh. Um, this right here, I got this from Avon and this is like very Chanel ish. And I've showed this before, but you know, this jacket right here that, um, you know, I, I've, I'm not going to put it on, but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this looks very Chanel ish, very, very Chanel ish, you know, the tweed. And, um, you know, how it's designed. And I got this right here from Avon. So, you know, this is my other dupe that's very Chanel looking. And then last but not least, I think that is, yeah. This puppy right here, this bag. Now, you all know what this bag looks like, okay? It has a shoulder strap. Yes, it looks like the Hermes Birkin, but of course it's not. And this is a Teddy Blake, Teddy Blake bag. And I've shown this, I unboxed this, or revealed this um, on my channel. And, you know, I really, I like this bag, okay? Um, would I ever get a Hermes? No, because um, that bag is just, it's out of my price range. And I would not spend that much money on a bag. It's just not that serious. Not, not for me. Again, for those of you who have it, great. You know, you spend your money how you want to. For me, I will never own a Birkin. I have no desire to own a Birkin. And there's a few reasons why. One, of course, is the price. Two, it's a handheld bag. And... I'm really not into handheld bags. If this didn't have a shoulder strap, I wouldn't have this. And, you know, um, in, a, in the Birkins, they're a heavy bag. Um, my girl, Christy J, she has a Birkin, and I've held hers. 
and it's it's a heavy bag. It has some weight to it. And to be holding that bag, the only way to carry it is by, you know, just by the top handle. I know for me, after a while, I would get tired of that. I just recently sold my Fendi bag because it was um, it was a tall bag. It was a big bag, and I just didn't I just didn't wear it because of it was too big. After it was just too big for me, and so I know for me to get a Birkin, you know, after the hoopla is over of having a Birkin, you know, being able to acquire it, you know, once I start carrying it and it's heavy, and the only way I can carry it is a top handle, I would end up just selling that bag. And well, I got cut off because I ran out of storage space on my uh, cell phone here. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say, um, I know for some people they purchase dupes just to see if they want the real more um, expensive um, brand. And that's, that's good, that's a great idea. That is how I got my, um, this um, Teddy Blake bag is because the person wanted to see if they wanted a Birkin. So they, they got that one first and then they liked it. So they stepped out and they bought the Birkin and I purchased the Teddy Blake bag. Um, you know, for me, I really don't necessarily purchase uh, dupes for that reason. I'll just purchase a dupe just because I don't feel like spending the money on, you know, the more expensive brand. And, um, but you know, as what happened in the case with the Valentinos, the opportunity presented itself where it became available at a uh, price tag that was more um, um, okay within my budget at that time. So I went ahead and I, I purchased it. But yeah, but this right here was a really, um, really fun video to do. And um, I really would like to see... Uh, what anybody else if anybody else out there has some dupes and i'm going to try to watch some other videos of people that are showing their dupes because like i said i just think it's always been a very little controversial thing um in the youtube community but you know hey you do you you know and i just think everybody you know um should be able to look uh stylish and fashionable um and within their budget so until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.